as you saw in a previous video, we just installed these new seats in Betsy. But my number one complaint about them was that they were way too tall. So what we're doing today is pulling the seats back out and we're making new brackets because now when I sit in the car, my head hits. If I were to go over a bump, look, I'm just sitting normal and my head's on the ceiling. So what we're gonna do is take, you can't see anything under there. What we're gonna do is take these seats out, make new brackets, and hopefully it'll be sitting much lower. Like when we first, in, when I first set the seat in the car, it was the perfect height. The armrest was perfect, but now we gotta pull it all back out and make all new stuff. We're out here making these brackets. It's been a real group effort. We got the one soaking in the water. And we got the other one right here. And so me. these, they, they figured all this out. I've been, I was editing a video. So I don't really, to be honest, I haven't done much. So this is the passenger rear one. And so it's gonna be like this. And then there's the two holes here and here that will drill holes and it'll come up. And then this will be bolted to the actual seat, as you can see up there. Cause I still don't get this. Yeah. How, I, I, see, I don't understand how we're getting the, how are we getting a bolt through? Or are we gonna, oh no, we're gonna drill the two holes. There's gonna be two different holes. There'll oh. be a bolt that's coming from the ground. It'll be on a nut. So that's gonna be sturdy from the actual floorboard. And, and the then front. you'll have another hole that you can actually put that one bolt in that's already threaded on the seat. Mm -hmm. And that should be a hole down. So we're making these type of brackets for the front and the back on either, for front and back, meaning there and there on either seat. And we decided to eliminate the sliders here because it was just, they were way too tall and it would have been way too much work to try and get all that to fit in here. So we took those out. We're working on these seats right now. Just finished up the two brackets for the passenger side. Then we're gonna try and bolt in the passenger side. Here, look. Because this is how much height you're actually losing. Look at how, how much shorter this is gonna be. This is gonna be awesome. Hopefully, shoot, hopefully we won't be hitting our heads no more. So unfortunately we are done today. We're done early. The sun's still up. We could still be out here working, but we need it to go to Ace Hardware because with the whole mechanism we're doing with drilling the holes in this type of metal right here, the step drill bit we had wasn't made for this kind of metal. It was made for just aluminum. So we kind of doled it out. Then we went to Ace Hardware to, you know, buy some more, but we show up to Ace Hardware and it's barricaded shut. So unfortunately we weren't able to get that. I'm going to go back tomorrow and hopefully get a step drill bit made for cutting through this type of steel. But from the material we use, just to show you guys real quick, we used this square tubing is what is bolting to the actual floor. Then this steel, is what's bolted to the seats. We got them set in here right now, sitting on top of the mounts. I would show you the mounts again, but we have them sitting underneath the seats. Just to give you guys an idea of how much lower it is, it helps, like I have probably like, I had my, I was sitting in the car with my fist in there. I had probably about, this is weird, probably about that much more room I'd say with my hand and this was hitting the ceiling. So it helped a lot more, made it so if I ever do wanna race the car, I can at least be able to put a helmet on because before there's no way I would've been able to fit in the car with the helmet on. But that doesn't matter. And the main purpose was so other people could sit in it because I'm like 5'9 and I could barely fit in it. Anyone else that was any taller than that, that was six foot or over, would not be fitting in this car whatsoever. So we've made it. I had my friend over, he was sitting in it. Everyone was sitting in it fine. So the height is good. The closeness, I mentioned I like to sit really close when I drive and it is a little further back than I wanted to, but we're gonna try and mess with it a little more tomorrow when we're finalizing all the bolt holes and stuff. Cause as I mentioned, we were unable to use the sliders because it was just simply too complicated. It would make it way too tall. This made it much lower and look, look how much lower it is. It's at that trim piece right there on the side just before the black metal right there looks real good I'm, I'm like i'm happy with how it looks i think it looks really cool sitting in here like this yes it's much lower than the back seat but hey i think it looks cool so that's all that matters it's comfortable sitting in there arm rest is good on the side steering wheel is in a good position shifters in a good position i was talking about it perfect position for cup holders to put right here we'll have to make that too that'll be the next project we do but as of right now that is all for today we'll be back out here tomorrow working on making the mounts, finalizing, drilling the bolt holes through, and hopefully fully installing the seats. It's the next day. We're back out here working on the seats. Over here, we, we're drilling all kinds of stuff. We're working on the seat brackets that my friends were making. But I was looking at it and I was thinking, I'm like, this isn't gonna work. And for the driver's seat, I like having the capability of sliding around. So I decided to put the original mount that I had back on here. 
Although, they're still over here working on these brackets. And I'll show you the design they have come up with. You can see we got the top one mounted up. And now they're telling me there's some magical way they're getting, like, I, I don't get it. But there's some magical way they're getting a bolt through here. And then to tighten it down. And I just don't, I just don't understand it. So, man, they're... I just don't get it. They're, they're insisting it's gonna work. They're still over here working on it. Well, in the meantime, you can see we just had this stuff mocked up. I got those brackets there. I'll be taking those out. I'll be putting my driver's seat back in, so I'll be good to go be able to slide up and down and move all around. They'll be stuck. I mean, the passenger seat will be stuck in place to begin with, and yes, there'll be the height difference, but to be honest, for me, I mean, I'm not that tall. I fit pretty good, but for other people that are taller, it's better for them to have the lower seat, so hey, if they do manage to get these brackets to work, God bless them and they can use it. But for me on the driver's side, I'm sticking with my original brackets, which I'm about to put back in. Then once I put that in, I'll be back and we'll, I'll update you guys on the process that these brackets are in. So those last couple clips you guys saw were actually from before we even took the car out and drove it and ran out of gas. We got the seats in though, and I'm really happy with how it came out. Now I know before it kind of seemed like I had mixed opinions on what I should do for the driver's seat where I'll be sitting when I'm in the car, but I feel that we, in the end, we made the right decision and did the right stuff. In the passenger seat, we have those square two brackets you guys saw, and this time there's all four bolts in both seats. No longer the passenger seat only has two bolts, it now has all four. And you can see down here, kind of, Right there, you can see the bracket there. It bolted up real nicely, and I don't know how they did it. I, w I wasn't even over here when they were doing it. I was out, I think I was recording something else in the driveway when the seats were getting bolted in, but you can see all four bolts are in there. Seats all bolted down nice and safely. And yes, this one is a little shorter than the driver's side, but to be completely honest, at a quick glance, like just walking by, you wouldn't even notice. In the front, look you, look, you can see me right there, but it just, it like, it doesn't make that big of a difference. It doesn't, I mean, I don't care. It's maybe about an inch, inch and a half, maybe two inches, but for the most part, you can't even tell. I'm happy with how it came out. Now, anyone can come in here and sit in the car. I'll sit in it right now and show you guys, like, look at the headroom. All this headroom now sitting here in the passenger seat. And also, too, one thing I noticed is like, this one's like lean back a lot more and this one's more flat. But again, who cares? We got the seats in. I'm happy with how it is. Passenger seat, I wanted it much lower. So anyone could come in here and sit in the car because before it'd be hard. I don't even think my dad would have been able to fit in the car. So now literally anyone can come in here, sit in the passenger seat. Now I'll come over here to the driver's seat. And look, I'm much higher. Yes, but hey, when I was driving the car around, I'm like, this is comfortable. I enjoy how this seat is. I enjoy sitting here. I like sitting nice and close. I'm up high, I can see around. Nice being up high so I can quickly get my arms out for the turn signals and all that stuff. And hey, if someone else wants to drive the car, then they can go all the way back and then look how much headroom you gain as you move back. So I'm really happy with how everything came at, came out. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Apologize we weren't driving around this video in Betsy, but hey, that stuff is to come. It's been raining the past couple days, so unfortunately we haven't been able to take the car out and drive around. So I decided, you know what, I'll show you guys this stuff, finishing up the seats and getting that all installed. The final thing for the seat will be putting on the Mexican blanket on the back there, and then I will also be pulling apart the Slant 6 in another video coming up. And as always, the normal videos, Street Race Talk on Friday, No Prep News on Sunday, Red Light Questions on Monday, then as always, a video of Betsy on Wednesday. And all these videos upload go live at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. So make sure you guys click the little bell, turn the notifications on so there's a single video that I upload. Again, all my videos go live at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. And then make sure you guys leave your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below about, you know, the car, the seats, any final touches you think I should add to the car. Leave it in the comment section down below below. Bad t-shirts and hoodies are also available at maybe6yz.weebly.com or first link down below in the description. You can go check those out if you want. They're real sweet and it's so cool. When I'm driving around this car, it's just like, it's just me thinking, it's like, I'm driving this car and I got that car in the back of my shirt. It's just one of the coolest feelings like 
there is. It's so awesome. Go buy a shirt if you guys want at maybe6yz.weebly.com. Or again, first link down below in the description. I also set up a P.O. box, so if you guys want to send me stuff, address is down below in the description. And again, that is all. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram at simabcxyz. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And this is simabcxyz signing out.